this is fake. It's not fiat, it's fake. I do not invest in anything that can be printed. The biggest lie we're told since childhood is that you should put your savings in the bank and they will grow. But the truth is that bank interest can't even cover inflation. To put it simply, your cash savings turn to garbage. Cash is trash. The only way out is to invest in assets that will save and multiply your money. In this video, we will tell you about the top 8 such assets. While national governments are printing money out of thin air like crazy, the buying power of currencies is declining catastrophically. So, rich people invest their money in something that has value, and that is in short supply, meaning it can't be created by pressing a button, as in the case of fiat currencies. The perfect options are precious metals, gold, silver, and platinum. But I like gold because gold is God's money. You know, gold and silver have been here since the Earth was formed, and it'll be here long after we're all gone. These assets always rise in value when inflation goes off the charts. In the 60s, an ounce of gold could be bought for about $400. In 2023, the same ounce is worth around $2,000. And according to predictions over the next 10 years, the price of gold will increase another four times the current one. Yes, buying actual gold brings certain difficulties. And this is where gold ETFs available to everyone come to rescue. In addition to their shortage, precious metals are used extensively in the manufacture of equipment and electronics. Similarly, other metals such as copper, nickel, cobalt, due to their unique physical characteristics, are in high demand in the industries. To give you an example, cobalt demand has skyrocketed since 2020 on the background of growing production of electric cars, and it is predicted to become even more in demand. Between 2019 and 2022, the price of cobalt saw more than three times growth. Therefore, a stake and raw materials can boost your entire portfolio significantly. For ordinary investors, a good option would be to invest in stocks of mining companies like Rio Tinto, mining-focused mutual funds or derivatives such as futures and options. Land and facilities have always been valuable and sought after resources. Investing in these assets perfectly hedges high inflation. To prove it, here is a Bloomberg research according to which, from 1992 to 2021, the median sales price of US homes increased more than three times. And this is despite the real estate bubble of 2008. At the same time, it is not necessary to have a large capital to invest in real estate. Any small investor can put their money into real estate investment trusts. It's like mutual funds, but for real estate. The range of fiat currencies to diversify your savings is quite wide, but none of them is backed by gold these days. Well, almost none of them, more on that later. Therefore, the decisive factor in choosing is geopolitical stability. It is not for nothing that rich people keep their savings in Swiss banks. The Swiss franc is considered a good safe haven currency in times of crisis and military conflicts. The British pound and the Chinese yuan are other alternatives to the dollar. Gold-backed currency from BRICS is also of considerable interest, but it has not been launched yet. Therefore, we're keeping an eye on it for the long time being. Currency ETFs and forex brokers will help small investors to get access to foreign currencies. In fact, modern currencies are backed by nothing but trust to the government, and the last thing a truly strong government wants is to default. So, one of the safest way to invest is to buy government securities or simply GSEX. They offer higher returns than keeping your money in the bank. However, this only makes sense with GSACs of states with a high credit rating. US residents can invest in treasury bills, notes, and bonds. You can purchase such securities directly from the Treasury Direct portal. Like the video and support our channel by subscribing it if you got some useful information. More interesting things to come. 
But moving on. Treasure investments preserve your savings better than cash. However, their returns are lower than those of stocks, which in turn are a riskier tool. Not all stocks are equally risky and high yielding. The stock market can be conditionally divided into two types of stocks, growth stocks and value stocks. The first ones are more risky as they most often are technology-related, and the second ones are less risky, as there is a stable high demand for their goods and services, but they have less growth potential. These two approaches are well illustrated by this infographic. Kathy Wood is growth-focused, while Warren Buffett's portfolio consists mainly of value stocks. To avoid fundamental analysis of each value stock, you can invest in large dividend mutual funds. If you thought that rich people buy expensive things just to flatter their ego or to show off, that's not really true. They spend large amounts of money on vintage cars, paintings, rare books, jewelry, and other limited edition products because they retain their value well and even increase it over time. Yes, you probably can't buy the world's most expensive car for a whopping 135 million euros or a Da Vinci painting for an unimaginable 450 million dollars. But online marketplaces like WhatNot offers a wide range of collectibles for ordinary investors. And even if you can't buy a rare comic book or a soccer player card, you can invest in partial ownership of collectibles on platforms like Masterworks or Convy. And for dessert, cryptocurrencies are the most risky and volatile assets possible. They may not be the best choice for preserving your savings. However, they have huge growth potential. Top 1 cryptocurrency Bitcoin over a 10-year period has shown just unrealistic returns compared to traditional assets. Financial gurus such as Robert Kiyosaki and Elon Musk are active crypto investors. The cryptocurrency industry is still in its infancy. If you're a risk taker and aim for the big X's, a small share of your funds can be invested in this promising field. Write in the comments what you plan to keep your savings in and watch our other useful videos and see you soon.